well, this department, uh, you know, came into being right uh, when the university, or I'll say the Thapar Institute of Engineering and Technology came into being. That is in 1956. Uh, it's, it was one of the departments uh, when uh, the institute started. So one of the three departments, in fact, it started along with mechanical and electrical. So it's a, it, it has a very long uh, history as such. The major strengths in our department obviously are we have got very good research funding, you know, uh, in fact. And then the number of people who are PhDs in our department is probably the highest in the institute. We have more than 60% people who are PhDs and uh, in addition to that obviously we have very good infrastructure in the laboratories which has been developed obviously over a period of 53-54 years now. Committees who have come here and visited our department in the previous years like the National Board of Accreditation uh, or NAC, you know, we are the only department to have been accredited for five years every time since 1996. We have had projects, you know, like research projects, modernization projects, through which we have got funding from various agencies, you know, uh, which have really helped us in uh, modernizing and updating our equipment. That is one. Then the university has been funding us every year with a generous grant and we have been using that grant also to upgrade our infrastructure, modernize our infrastructure with regards to equipment in the laboratories or even setting up library or a seminar room and things like that. So we have in fact accumulated all this over the last you know, so many years but yes, last decade or so has been really helpful. We have had a lot of good funding coming to us in the last decade itself. Uh, in addition to that, we have we, we, we do consultancy as well, which is one of our main strengths. You know, uh, we we do consultancy worth nearly about 15 to 20 lakhs every year, so which helps uh, our faculty to remain in touch with what is happening in the field, and so that they can impart that education better in the class as well. We have uh, a wonderful uh, reaction loading frame which we have uh, in our structures lab, which on which we can test you know structures which are pretty near to actual. Um, we, we have a, a RCPT apparatus which is very good, very important apparatus for testing of materials in our laboratory. Uh, the geotechnical laboratory has all you know, very good equipment uh, where, where students can do all standard testing in, in addition to the field equipment which they very you know, frequently take out to the field to do the testing of soil and uh, foundation investigations. We have a very good water resources laboratory where you'll find uh, you know, state of the art equipment uh, like wind tunnel and things like that which you will find over there and uh, we have all the major software you know in, in the computer aided design laboratory uh, starting from STAD Pro to STRAP to, to SCADAS and things like that so all those softwares are also with us so we have all the ammunition you know, which is required by the students to be a good civil engineer so that is all available in our laboratories. From government agencies to semi-government to private agencies who have been coming here for testing and consultancy jobs like Power Grid Corporation, you know, that, that's one of the foremost. So they do all, our, all get all their quality testing done from us. Then uh, we, we have uh, checked and designed uh, you know, a lot of structures for outside uh, agencies like polytechnics, universities, institute buildings, you know, even bridges we have designed for all, all such uh, government and semi-government organizations. Uh, in addition to that, you know, all the structures which have come up in the university you know, all the structures which have come up in the university, including the geotechnical investigation, that has been done by our department. So the faculty of the department has been you know, doing uh, uh, structural designing and geotechnical investigations of the campus as such also. What is the vertical reaction going to do? It's going to cause shear. It means if I'm just considering that as an aspect, what is the shear force I make? I've been teaching since uh, February 1993, so it's uh, 17 years association as a teacher. And then uh, I have been a pass out from this place, so it's like an association of total 23 years because I started as a student in 1987. It's, it's good that, you know, in that sense it's good that I, am, I have been on the other side as well. And it does, does help, you know, in understanding the psyche of the students. Uh, since I have been that side, so I know how I need to be treated as a student. So that helps me in understanding my students better. And uh, then obviously that... that human approach which we found in our teachers you know when we were students uh, definitely helped us in making us better teachers here so that you know we can connect with the students in a more human and a humble manner definitely you know to be on the other side is slightly not slightly i'll say very different from being on the other side as a student you know there's a lot of difference but uh, 
it's enjoyable both ways you know you have to enjoy your work you know whether you're a student or a teacher you have to enjoy your work and if you do that i think uh, the day is made you know?